Welcome back to Science Made Simple. I'm Dr. Boyd the Chemist. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your solar eclipse glasses safer for use with younger children. Here's what you'll need. You'll need tape. You'll need something to draw with. I'm using both a marker and a pencil, and you'll see why in the video. You'll need a paper plate. You'll also need scissors. I'm using small scissors that have a point to them. And of course, you'll need your solar eclipse glasses. Because we are using sharp objects like scissors and potentially a razor blade, there is a sharp safety hazard to be concerned with. So if you're a child, please do this with adult supervision. Excitement is definitely building for the upcoming solar eclipse, but even though we're all excited, it's important for us to remember that we need to be safe. Viewing the sun without proper eye protection is extremely dangerous and you can do damage, including permanent damage, to your eyes. So you must wear the proper eye protection certified solar eclipse glasses in order to view it. That being said, some smaller children may want to watch it as well. And so today I'm going to show you how you can modify your solar eclipse glasses to make it safer even for younger children. With your paper plate facing upward, place your folded solar eclipse glasses in the center. Now, draw an outline around your solar eclipse glasses using your pencil. It should look like this. Now, unfold your glasses, but still place them in the same location on your plate. With your marker, mark eight locations two just above and below each eyepiece, and then little hashes at the edges where the slots will go through your plate. When you're finished, it should look like this. Now, cut out the eye holes. Keep in mind, you mark the top and the bottom of the glasses but you don't want to cut the eye holes all the way to those marker lines. When you're finished, it should look like this. Now, you wanna cut out slits for the arms. Now, you want to cut out a space for your nose and your mouth so you can breathe and talk. A triangular space may work best. Okay, last step. Slide the arms of your glasses through the paper plate from the bottom. Now, fold those arms, place the paper plate bottom side up, and then tape along the top edge of the glasses and also on the bottom edges of the glasses. Now that you're all finished, try them on, see how they work. For folks or children with smaller head sizes, you may need to tape or tie the arms together in the back once you put them on. Happy viewing.